Kenya's president, Uhuru Kenyatta, is expected to meet with U.S. President Donald Trump today in Washington. Joining us now is an international affairs analyst, Calvin Dark. Thank you for joining us on the program. Thank you. While we know a number of issues will be discussed by both leaders, will the last presidential elections in the country come up? Um, they should, but they won't, for several reasons. One is Donald Trump has shown that when it comes to promoting democracy, elections, transparency, that's not uh, a priority for him in this country or abroad. And also some of the recent events with family separation and the um, investigation of Russia collusion, collusion really take away from his credibility, even if he wanted to speak on it. Let's talk about the duration of this meeting, just 20 minutes. Does that speak about the sort of relationships that exist between the two? I don't believe so, because with this administration, unlike previous ones, it's hard to kind of read the tea leaves of what these times may mean. It could just be because, you know, President Trump is juggling, juggling a lot of things. Um, most controversies that he of his own making and I don't really think he needs the time to do the substantive meetings that other presidents would have had because to be honest this is going to come down to if he feels chemistry with President Kenyatta and if President Kenyatta compliments him on how he believes he's made America great again so I don't believe the time gives an indication one way or the other Peace and security are some of the issues to be discussed by the two leaders. How has the U.S. assisted in securing peace and reduction of the influence of Al-Shabaab in East Africa? Well, I think that after economic ties, security cooperation is going to be uh, high on President Trump's agenda. And I do think that in as much as President Trump can increase security cooperation to reach his goals and improve his image as, you know, making America tougher and stronger, he will. However, I think that the lack of a really coherent strategy for security and economics in Africa is going to handicap whatever um, the two leaders discuss or whatever could come out of the meeting as far as security is concerned. Thank you, Carvin Dak of African Affairs, International Affairs Analyst. Thank you for joining us on the program. Thank you.